so what is the need of design patterns in core java or sorry what is the use of design patterns why design pattern design pattern, pattern. design pattern yes um actually uh, it is a way of um, architectural design by using that we can um we can uh use that in our uh, system and application what is factory design pattern sorry sorry one minute um Okay, so what is factory design oh, pattern? Okay. Factory design pattern. Um, factory design pattern is actually uh, uh it is like uh, we have to uh, if any object is there in the application where user wants to get that, we will have that one uh. Abstract factory class so to get that uh, object uh, without going into the implementation part. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, fine. And what is singleton design pattern? Um, it is a design pattern that is to uh, usually used to get only one object. If the object is already there, then we will pass that. Uh, object if it is not present then we have to create that and uh, send that to um in the get uh, method mm -hmm. okay so uh, what is hash collision um hash collision is actually um uh, it comes from uh, it comes when we are uh, in um, inserting some uh, elements into the hash uh, hash table uh, hash map like um, they exhibit only uh, exhibit the same hash code. Mm -hmm. That time we will have that hash collation problem. Okay. So how we can uh, avoid hash collision? We are we are inserting. Um. Sorry. How uh, hash collision can be avoided? Um, if you are uh, eating one element like uh, um, hash and uh, um, the first element is hash, then second element is uh, um, hint. So hash hint. The first character is H H. So if um, the first H H character in, is converted into integer, so that place is going to insert in that position so in that uh, bucket uh, we can avoid it by using the linker list format like uh, one map uh, one node then another node is connected uh, by the address part mm -hmm. okay so what is the use of finally block sorry what is the use of Finally block. Um, finally block is used to uh, execute that even if the corresponding um, catch block is uh, not there for that particular exception. Okay. 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 So why we use finally block? What we write in finally block? Um, we can write a. Uh, um, some uh, closing the scanner and uh, closing the resource leaks like that we can do it if uh, no ex um, if we don't know uh, which exception is going to get uh, whether the cache block uh, will be found or not we are not sure that time we can use like a uh, inside finally block mm -hmm. okay how we can create a immutable class um we can create by using um, final class. Um, sorry, by um, by using private constructor, private class. Sorry, final class. Mm -hmm. Yes. Fine. Final class only uh, getters will be there. No setter methods. Mm -hmm. 
and constructor type would be private or public? Um, a private. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. So null pointer exception is a checked exception or a unchecked exception? Unchecked exception. And a resource not found or file not found? File not found is unchecked exception. Hmm. Fine. What is solid principle? Solid principle. Mm, the most. Mm -hmm. Okay. In Java 8, what are the new changes? Um, new changes is a uh, lambda expression um, that is actually used to um, uh, give the implementation for the functional interface uh, methods. So we can define it. It is actually an anonymous function uh, without name. Uh, we can usually have that. Uh, uh, set of parameters, then uh, that arrow mark, and inside that we have that uh, uh, curly braces, open curly braces. So inside that we can have the implementation and we can have the closed braces. Then uh, functional interface. Functional interface, uh, uh, it has only one abstract method. If we define the method, um, if we define uh, that method, then we have to implement that method in the um, classes. Um, that we are using function interface so it, it is denoted by a functional interface uh, name uh, uh, annotation then uh, we can define it using uh, if the function interface name is uh, um, interface uh, shape then uh, inside that we have that uh, draw method as abstract method. Then we have to give that implementation in the class which is inheriting this. So um, we have to give like a uh, interface uh, shape. Uh, sorry, shape as equal to um, anonymous function of uh, draw. Uh, we have to give um, parameters inside that uh, inside draw method of interface mm -hmm. in an SOP uh, system dot like that we have to implement this then okay. the another function um, mm -hmm. we can also use default methods inside function interface with implementation also we can call it by using uh, okay fine, uh, fine. by using uh, that then um, we uh, it is not uh, mandatory to implement that the default methods in the um, inheriting classes then okay, we okay, have fine, wait. Uh, what is consumer interface reference. What is consumer interface? Um, consumer interface uh, um, is actually a functional interface um, mm -hmm. that has uh, uh, that accept one, uh, one that accept parameters and return uh, true or false. Mm -hmm. Okay, so have you also worked on microservices? Yes, sir. Okay, so how the two microservices communicate? I mean, how we can connect mm. two microservices? Uh, we can use a REST template to communicate between the microservices. Any other ways we can communicate? Maybe using a paying client, but uh, I haven't worked on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. So, uh, is, do you know any asynchronous way of communication wherein message queue, MQ, anything is used? Uh, no, sir. What is circuit breaker? Hmm? Circuit breaker. Um, it is used to identify which, uh, which microservices is. Um, uh, which microservices is down and uh, mm -hmm. um, for that we have to uh, implement uh, the circuit breaker in our uh, microservices architecture. Okay. Okay, so suppose we are developing a REST API 
सो वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ पाथ परम Path parameter. Um, yeah. We are. Uh, we can give uh, more number of uh, parameters in the browser URL by mm -hmm. using the at path parameter, um, um, at a post parameter uh, annotation. We can get uh, what is the parameter that is actually given by the customer in the URL. Like uh, if they given uh, a local host add slash uh, uh, name equal to y d e, then uh, we have to get that y d e from the browser. So that time um, it has a name equal to y d e and uh, age equal to twenty five. Then uh, we have to get only one uh, parameter from that uh, URL. So that time we have to use um, a request param of uh, name. Mm hmm. Okay. okay. So, so what is query parameter? I'm sorry, sir, not. Okay, like uh, so if I want to get the employee details, why ID? Then will the URL. इंटरफेस लिस्ट Mm-hmm. What is the request context? Request context in HTTP. So, what value can be in request context? Um, means. I mean, in request context, what things can be there? Like what like, request um, context? Like accepting. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right, right. Go ahead. Like producers consumes. Hmm. Okay. Producers consumes. We can give XML or JSON. Hmm. Okay. So, what is the application context? And application context is the one that uh, uh, that will be um, that is the one uh, will be created when uh, we are running the main uh, Spring Boot application, Spring application dot run. This application context will create the Spring container for us. Then uh, it initializes the Tomcat. And dispatches of that for our application. Mm. Right, right. Okay. What is status code two hundred? Two hundred is okay. And uh, what other status code you have used? Mm, four not four not found. Mm -hmm. Then four not one unauthorized. Hmm. What is five hundred status code? Sorry, I haven't used five hundred. So five hundred is very basic, so you don't have to use. So program most of the time throws five hundred errors. Have you seen five hundred okay. errors? Mm. Mm. 
Okay, fine. So, uh, Vadi, I am done. Okay, so I think you need to uh, brush up. Okay, something. Okay. Okay, so. So, uh, before we end up, do you have any question for me? Um, no, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Vadi. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay, good. Thank you. Bye-bye.